Main article. 2060s Dalek invasion of Earth Main article. 22nd century Dalek invasion Some time later, mining operations on Skaro led to the release of three of the Daleks' humanoid forebears, the last three in existence, Erich, Lodian and Zay, who had survived frozen in the mountains in life support machines. Though mistakenly believing the metal beings now in possession of the planet to be the original robots built by Yarveling, rather than the similarly designed travel machines of the modern Daleks, the humanoids realized that the Daleks were devoid of a conscience and, if not stopped, would eventually destroy every planet in the universe in their lust for conquest. Erich tried to join forces with the Metal Daleks, offering to tell them a great secret, the location of the planet Earth, which he and Lodian had discovered before they were frozen, though he never got to reveal it, as the Daleks, not recognizing one their own ancestors, mistook him for an invading android and obliterated him. Zay, having learned the secret of Earth from Lodian, tried the same thing and was met with more success, as the Golden Emperor had by then realized the truth. Before Zay could tell the Metal Daleks how to get to Earth, however, Lodian caused an explosion which killed both himself and Zay, burying the secret. Comic. Legacy of Yesteryear. By the end of the 21st century, the Daleks were scattered around the edges of Mutter's spiral, working on building a stable galactic power base. The ones left on Skaro, meanwhile, had attempted to create an independent empire of their own. Pros. Alien bodies. This faction, known as the Exterminator Daleks, had an emperor of their own, who resided in the Dalek city of which they had taken control. The Exterminators believed the Daleks should devote their attention to the extermination of surviving Tals. They had some early successes which made them grow complacent, and were ultimately wiped out by a small but well-prepared Tal commando. Pros. The Dalek problem. A Dalek who saw value in beauty also briefly tried to seize power. This revolution was short-lived, however, as the Golden Emperor defeated the Renegade and convinced his followers that beauty's short-lived nature meant that it was inimical to the Dalek ideal of everlasting power. Comic. Shadow of Humanity. The Golden Emperor was later tricked by a Jeevan space crew into letting the Jeevan ship leave Skaro. Upon realizing they had been tricked, the Daleks swore to wage war on humanoids like never before comic, the emissaries of Javo, and paid particular attention to a human spaceship that crashed on their planet. Though three of the humans managed to make it back home alive, they left behind a scrap of paper with Earth's coordinates, leading the Daleks to decide to conquer the planet Earth. Comic. The road to conflict, although the initial Dalek invasion force was easily repelled. Comic. Return of the Elders, the Daleks did eventually conquer and occupy the Earth in 22nd century after unleashing a plague on the planet. TV the Dalek invasion of Earth, audio, masters of Earth, and easily defeating the Terran security forces. Pros. The final sanction. The Dalek invasion force was led by a black Dalek, known as the Supreme Controller, and each saucer was under the command of a Dalek saucer commander. They used Robomen for patrols and overseeing slaves. TV. The Dalek invasion of Earth, audio, masters of Earth. A red Dalek also served as a commander in London. TV. Susan and the Daleks, a city which would survive the invasion, but it suffered some of the greatest attacks since the Blitz. Pros. Illegal alien. New York City was totally destroyed. TV, the Dalek invasion of Earth, while Iris Wild Time once led her friends against a Dalek saucer in the Putney Common. Pros. From Wild Time with Love, in 2163, the Sixth Doctor foiled the Daleks' plan to unleash a Varga plant virus and new Roboman elite in 2163 and erased any record of his involvement afterwards but the invasion continued. Audio. Masters of Earth. Traveling in the Doctor's TARDIS, an older Susan Foreman accidentally arrived in the midst of the Dalek occupation in Trafalgar Square. She escaped aboard the TARDIS, but the Red Dalek, having failed to catch her aboard a hoverbout, dispatched a blue chrono Dalek after her. After Susan thought she was safe in a new time zone, the Dalek entered the TARDIS and confronted her and a boy within the time machine, proclaiming that it now belonged to the Dalek Empire. TV. Susan and the Daleks. Back in the 22nd century, the Daleks commenced a mining operation in Bedfordshire in order to reach the Earth's magnetic core, replace it with a propulsion system, and turn the whole planet into a massive spacecraft. Some time after their takeover of Earth, however, the First Doctor foiled the plan before its completion. The pit they had dug turned into an active volcano, the eruption of which killed the remaining Daleks and destroyed their base. TV. The Dalek Invasion of Earth. A Dalek research facility, 
Da-17, remained intact. The Eighth Doctor and his granddaughter Susan Foreman were trapped along with the Master and new Daleks were produced by the hatchery. They attempted to conquer England but were destroyed when Da-17 exploded. Pros. Legacy of the Daleks. Later in the 22nd century, the Dalek time controller was retrieved by the Daleks, though it was decaying from having been thrown through time. As this era's Daleks were unable to repair it, they sent a distress call which attracted the monk, who was able to repair it. The Dalek time controller took control over Dalek operation and orchestrated a second Dalek invasion of Earth, forcing the monk to release another plague to weaken humanity. It planned to use Earth as a space-time vessel containing the viruses scattered across time from the destruction of the Amethyst Viral Containment Station, having seen where they would end up while it was in the vortex and installing a time engine into Earth to travel to this point. The plague planet could then be piloted through the universe, infecting entire planets. The Daleks worked with the monk to maintain control of Earth whilst installing the time engine, allowing him to collect artifacts of human civilization. Ultimately, the Time Controller, and all Daleks on Earth, were dragged into a time warp thanks to the sacrifice of Lucy Miller crashing a Dalek saucer containing a bomb into the mine. Audio. Lucy Miller. To the death. According to another account, Susan instead met the 13th Doctor, who, walking with her through the ruins of the 22nd century Earth, showed her granddaughter a dead Dalek she could take her anger out on. Pros. Fellow Traveler. In 2223, the Daleks launched a new invasion of Earth, with a black Dalek acting as Dalek Supreme. The Supreme led a single saucer to London to establish a base for the invasion, with the Dalek litigator accompanying as it was using the invasion to hunt down the Bruce Master. The Supreme wasted resources fighting the Master, who massacred the Daleks, leading to the litigator contacting the Dalek Parliament who ordered the invasion be abandoned. The Master confronted the Daleks at their saucer, torturing and killing the Supreme and forcing the litigator to flee by temporal shift. Audio. Vengeance.